Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. In the last lecture, uh, as we have seen the figure become very complicated, but uh, we have fairly good idea about what is happening when the satellite is leaving from the uh, sphere of influence of the earth okay, and uh, entering into the orbit about the sun. Now, it will coast in the uh, orbit around the sun uh, if according to home and transfer. Okay. And once it reaches the sphere of influence of say the other planet which is in this case Mars, so then what is going to happen? So, it will follow the same rule as for the exit from the sphere of influence, the same rule applies for the entry into the sphere of influence. So, I will just draw the figures for that, rest other things remain the same. So, here this is the sun, this is the vernal equinox. This is L, we will write this as L m to indicate this is the longitude of L m is the longitude of Mars, longitude of Mars. This is the longitude of the vehicle. Okay, for or we will make some change here. What we will do? We will keep the vehicle here, Mars is here, and then it is entering into the Mars from the lower side. Okay, so because uh, we have taken earlier that it is exiting from this side. So, once it goes to the Mars, so we assume that this is entering from this side, so the from the lower side. Okay. If uh, this is your earth here, uh, this is the uh, earth here in this place, this is sun, here this is the earth and then the Mars is here. Okay. So, once you it is a departing from this place, and it will go into the Mars. So, anyway whatever the way we make the figure it does, it does not matter. So, I will show it here the this to be the L vehicle and this is to be the longitude of the Mars and I will make the Mars figure here in this place. So, this is Mars and about this then we have the sphere of influence. So, this is the sphere of influence and this we are indicating as the Mars. Let us say this is V infinity, the hyperbolic excess velocity of the entry and uh, this is the actual velocity which we can calculate from the home end transfer. This is the VR, this is the VR is the velocity with respect to the sun, sun and this is V infinity and then V Mars. So, sun is lying here in this place, this is sun and Mars is here. So, it is a velocity will be here in this direction. 
so we can show here v m like this. So, v m v r equal to v m plus v infinity, okay. v r is known, okay. this quantity from the previous step from home and transfer it will be known. V Mars, this is known from the JPL, JPL D four not five program. From the JPL program, this is known, and V infinity therefore can be calculated from this place. This is V R minus V M. So hyperbolic excess velocity, this is known to you from this step. And then rest of the things is as usual we have defined earlier. So, V infinity is the velocity we draw the asymptote Okay, and from here the velocity vector as it goes, it takes turn like this and this is the point where you would like to capture the satellite. So, at this point the retro impulse is applied and the vehicle orbit can be circularized, otherwise it will escape from this side. Okay. So, at this point again the velocity vector will be here v infinity. So, if it escapes then this is a flyby case. Okay. So, whatever we have discussed here is the flyby goes according to the same rule. Okay. All the calculation done here it is applicable to flyby. If the velocity increases in the case of the flyby we say this is the gravitational slingshot. Okay. But the gravitational slingshot it is not the usual word we always use the this uh, planetary flyby. So, in the planetary flyby the velocity can increase the absolute velocity means with respect to the sun the velocity can increase or either it can decrease also. That means, you can damp the you can reduce the velocity of the satellite with respect to the sun using planetary flyby but you have to plan right in the beginning okay and uh, of course uh, while it passes through the uh, it goes on in the trajectory then the corrections has to be applied okay so these are very fine calculation which needs to be done on the computer okay so as usual this is your psi angle psi angle then all other things they remain the same. So, phi v is uh, already we have written here phi v will write this as the this is the radius vector r and this is r m. Okay. So, with this this angle we write as phi v which is the uh, I will not say this is the longitude of the resultant velocity or the velocity with respect to the sun. So, the phi v is indicated here, the v infinity is your in this direction and then this becomes your corresponding beta angle as we have indicated in the last case. Okay. So, this way the whole thing can be constructed. So, all the angle calculation what we have done last time everything is applicable here in this direction this is your vernal equinox direction. So, longitude of the perigee where it is a line that you can write. So, here let us say in this case we write as 
this is L m. So, this we write as L h ok according to the notation we have used earlier. So, L m and L h they will differ like this. This line goes straight here in this direction. So, this angle here this difference is L m minus L h. So, what we are doing that the planetary velocity once it goes inside the sphere of influence no, sorry the vehicle velocity vehicle velocity inside the sphere of influence vehicle velocity inside the sphere of influence will be hyperbolic with respect to the mars as we are considering here in this case. Okay, therefore, we have the V r is known this quantity is known then phi v will be known because heliocentric velocity of the vehicle is known v r v r is known and therefore, the phi v is known all these angles can be computed longitude of the vehicle this is known ok. Then the velocity of mars this quantity this is also known this is a known quantity from JPL ephemeris program JPL program. this angle we write as theta as usual ok. So, things needs to be properly programmed. So, th these are the ideas which goes in the actual implementation. So, using this all this information and psi angle here this can be determined. So, whatever we have worked earlier if v infinity becomes known this is v infinity becomes known. Okay. So, rest other things can be worked out using the information we have gathered here. So, using this information and hyperbolic equation asymptotic half angle psi can be determined. So, psi can be determined as we have written earlier in terms of uh, we have written in terms of v p and v c velocity in the circular orbit and v in terms of this we have defined it. So, psi can be known from here moreover pericenter longitude pericenter longitude this we have written as L h L h very centered longitude L h distance rho 0 which is the 
parking orbit radius rho 0 and velocity v p which is the velocity at the perigee can be determined making possible computation of retro impulse. So, the same equation is to be applied only thing here in the last case the uh, we assumed that it was already in the park it or parking orbit and from there the rho 0 was known to us here in this case we have to determine the rho 0 and what will be the velocity of the vp where we want to capture okay that can be determined So, it depends on at what angle this is entering into the orbit and accordingly you will from the symmetry you can see that where the perigee will lies and all these things are obvious from this place. So, for this we will not have any problem in the exam because it is a mathematically little complicated in terms of angles and other things. So, this is just an exposure to you for this technology how the things are done. Okay, so, lastly we have uh, the planetary capture uh, this planetary flyby which is based on the same concept. Okay. So, we write here the planetary flyby planetary flyby this we need to discuss. See, it's a exactly the same thing what we have been doing for the In the previous case, what we have been discussing, the same thing is applicable here. Let us say this is v infinity. Okay, it's a entering here, and uh, this is the velocity of Mars is here in this direction. So we show it by another color. So this is v m this is the velocity of mass this is v infinity from where this will come this will come from v r v r is known to us this is the velocity about the sun. So, as it comes to the sphere of influence of the mass okay, this is your mass. Okay, so, with respect to mass velocity how much angle this v r is making that will decide what will be the v infinity. And once v infinity is decided, from this step so then we can extend this, you can extend line th like this and so velocity will go here asymptotically and will exit from the other side it will go here like this and exit from the other side so this becomes your perigee position here now, whatever the v infinity is here the same v infinity you will get in this place. So, this is your v infinity this will not change 
and V mars is as usual this is the V mars also it does not change in magnitude it remains the same. So, what will be the resultant velocity? V infinity is here in this direction and Mars is moving like this. So, we have to show the resultant velocity here in this place. So, with this velocity, this is the velocity with respect to velocity with respect to sun this is the velocity of Mars, velocity of Mars with respect to sun and V infinity this becomes velocity of vehicle with respect to Mars. So, you can see that the V resultant is given by V infinity plus V m. So, the same technique we have to apply here in this place to get the result. So, what will be the corresponding uh, resultant velocity here in this case that we need to work out. So, we have here V r equal to V m plus V infinity. This is the basic equation we are going to use and we have used earlier also. If we add to the excess hyperbolic velocity the velocity of that planet we get the resultant velocity with respect to the sun. So, if we follow this notation so, this implies that I should not put here v, v mars in this place rather I should locate mars velocity from this place. So, that both of them can add up. So, this is your v mars. So, following this the same notation v mars plus v infinity v infinity goes from this direction to this direction. So, this is your v infinity and then v mars so, the resultant velocity then will be V r. So, this is the resultant velocity at the exit V infinity remains same whatever it is because of because this is the velocity with respect to the mass or with respect to the planet and therefore, inside the sphere of influence we have the conservation law if you apply. So, thus it will exit with the same velocity with whatever velocity it is entering here in this place. So, this is your V infinity. So, V infinity plus V m equal to V r as usual. So, we can see that V r is a larger vector here and V r here it becomes a smaller vector. Okay. So, that means the velocity of the vehicle with respect to the sun had reduced here in this place on the exit means it is a damping is taking place in the velocity. Okay. And this we call as the leading size leading side fly by why because your velocity vector it is a velocity is shown here in this direction it is a the trajectory is passing in front of the mars velocity is in this direction of the mars. So, it is a passing through this if it passes from the back side we call is the trailing side bypass uh, planetary flyby. So, we look for that also how does it look like the so, concept is very simple and based on the previous whatever the work we have done the same equation applies here in this place and everything can be calculated. So, overall because of this the velocity of the vehicle it gets reduced with respect to the sun. Okay. Now, let us look into the another condition 
which is the trailing size fly by the trailing side fly by. So, in this case what is the result? Again this is your sphere of influence. Mars is going here in this direction. Now, let us assume that the v infinity is in this direction. Some other color we will use. This is v infinity. Add to this and v r is known to us. Okay. V r is known to us and V m is also known to us. So, V r and V m this is these are known. So, from the previous result V r equal to V infinity plus V m. So, that means, if I show here in this direction V m, I will use green color for this, this is your V m. So, this indicates that V r should be along this direction. So, this is your V r. So, it is a this is the velocity v r is the velocity with respect to the sun. So, with respect to the mars what will be the velocity immediately it can be determined from this place. So, this is your v m. So, this is following this equation v infinity plus v m equal to v r. Okay. Now, it happens now it goes passes through the back side of the Mars. Okay. So, it passes through this part Okay, so, somewhere say the peri this is the periapsis, this is the periapsis position. The corresponding asymptotes can be shown like this. This is psi psi. Okay. Now, while it is coming from this place again the velocity will be v infinity. So, here you have the velocity I show by the same magnitude as v infinity. Then v infinity plus v m. This is your v infinity and v m is in this direction. I use the same magnitude of the vector this is v mars. So, what will be the resultant? Resultant will be this vector. So, this is v r. So, you can see that here in this case v r is much larger as compared to this case. Here this is the resultant velocity with respect to the sun this has reduced in magnitude this v r was longer this has reduced here here in this case v r is shorter and this is growing in magnitude. So, that means, it is a gaining velocity. So, there is mutual exchange of energy and the momentum and because of this we get a higher velocity, but remember this v infinity and this v infinity they are the same okay, because this is the velocity with respect to the mass 
and the according to the conservation law this has to be the same. Okay. So, this we call as the trailing site flyby and the result of the trailing site flyby is that there is gain in velocity, gain in velocity with respect to the sun. So, using this the maneuver can be done for going to some other planet that means, I have lesser energy for the satellite and if we do the trailing side flyby maneuver then we gain the velocity. So, this is beneficial and therefore, going from one planet to another planet if we do the flyby mission. So, it helps okay. and uh, this particularly this part as I told you the trailing side flyby this is called the gravitational slingshot. But I will always use the flyby okay, planetary flyby. So, th this is the technology involved in this but we are not going to do any problem on this particular aspect. So, uh, this topic is over only thing what remains that uh, our sphere of influence that we need to work out. Okay. So, for working with the sphere of influence uh, I will do that because if we go back and look here in the previous lecture. So, you see here this is the rho vector. Okay. Rho vector is nothing but your the radius of sphere of influence. So, from where this is coming? So, that rho vector which we have indicating here this is also your rho vector on this side this is also the rho vector. So, this is the sphere of influence. So, from where this is coming this particular part this is sphere of influence rho can be written as it is a simple it is a defined in terms of the planetary mass and the sun mass. Okay. And uh, this particular was uh, derived by a particular uh, person named Tisseran, okay. but uh, I give just the equation here in this place. So, rho can be written as m planet divided by mass of the sun to the power 2 to the power 5 times r s p. So, r s p is the orbital radius of the planet of the planet with respect to the sun. m p is the mass of the planet and m s is the mass of the sun and rho this is the radius of a sphere of influence radius of a sphere of influence. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, so, uh, if I the time permits, then I will take the derivation of the radius of sphere of influence toward the end of uh, the uh, what we call as the uh, this transfer maneuver. Okay. Uh, we are going in now into the rendezvous interception, all those things. So, at that time, at the end of that, I will consider it if the time permits. Okay, thank you very much.